I just this last June retired after teaching for 21 years in Lewiston and 35 years total. And I'm very concerned about it, how the enactment of LD 1020 will influence school curriculum. Where I last taught a number of years ago, I noticed that changes came on quite quickly from what they were many years ago. For example, in various faculty meetings we were told that there ought to be safe rooms created for those people who felt threatened in the school because of their sexual preferences. A lot of diversity posters are on the hall walls all the time, advertising meetings for those people. I'd like to give you an example of something that happened that was very unusual, I thought, at the time, and I think is an indication of perhaps the way things are going. We were called up one morning for an assembly of all students, freshmen through senior. And uh, the subject of the assembly was how to engage in safe sex. And it was to do largely with uh, how to use condoms. Individuals were called down from the audience to participate in it and to demonstrate to their fellow students and to the person conducting the assembly that they had learned what was being taught. As we were preparing to leave the gymnasium that day, I talked to the principal. <coughs> and I said to him, I called him by name, and I'll just make up a name here, John, if you had conducted this assembly ten years ago, you would have been fired by the time the day was over. And he said, yes, Jim, that's true. And if I didn't conduct it today, I would be fired. It was on an announced assembly. Students didn't know. I didn't know what was going on there. I think I have a lot of reason to be concerned about what the new law might bring into the schools. Thank you. I'll now turn this over to Caleb.